It is impossible to overstate the rarity of this work. In fact, we've never had a work by this artist in the gallery before, and we never will again. This is the spirit of reasoning, and it was made by Boris Anrep. Most of you may not have heard of Boris Amrit, but I can guarantee you have seen his work before. In fact, the largest work in the National Gallery just down the road here in Trafalgar Square is by Boris Anrep. But it doesn't hang on the wall in any of their grand galleries. You actually walk over it as you enter. It's a mosaic, it's set into the floor, and it was made between 1928 and 1952. Now this work is very rare because it's the only one that has appeared on the market since Boris Anrep's death. Why? Because of course they're all set into interiors. He was an artist who worked in the medium of mosaic. He produced interior schemes and was very integrated into that Bloomsbury circle. This was bought by none other than Augustus John from that 1913 exhibition. He then set it into the wall in his house in Chelsea and some years later commissioned another work by Anrep to go over the mantelpiece. And when the house was redeveloped in 1970, both the mosaics were taken off the walls. The overmantel went into the collection of the V&A. This work was retained by the family and it remained in their possession until this year. And we are now showing it here for the first time. As well as the National Gallery, Boris Anrep's mosaics can also be seen in Tate Britain, the Bank of England, Westminster Cathedral. We also know that this work was made as a direct response to his travels to Ravenna to view the mosaics there in the early 1900s. And you can really see that in the way this composition has been designed, in particular that simplification of the human form.